Hello everyone, greetings from chess.com. Welcome to the second Dial Tuesday of the month. Let's get started. We have Hikaru Nakamura uh, at the top seed of this event tonight. And uh, I also saw the names of Harsha Bharat Koti and uh, Mitrava Guha. So they will also be there in this event. Mm, I've just added music. So just let me know if the sound is okay. Hi Alark, hi Ahan, hi Shikhar, Khyati, Ahan, Saksham. So this is the tournament link if you want to follow. Okay. I'm playing against Sergio Chess 83. In the first round, so let's go. Rai Lopez, Bishop B5. Shall we go for prayer? Okay, let's do prayer. With this D3 Rai Lopez, he, my opponent has basically closed all my prayer ideas. So rookie one. Um, I think I'll go knight E5 and C5. It's a Chigorin style, Chigorin way of playing. So basically, I have set up uh, what is called the Chigorin structure for black. And I'll go rook e8, bishop f8 soon. Yes, this is how uh, we defend at 6. And eventually, after king at 7, g6 is one of the ideas he's making g6 difficult for me because he was threatening knight at 6 so i'm just coming back for now and now i am threatening g6 again and yeah eventually i get g6 which is uh which can be considered as an improvement H4. That's a move I was expecting uh, my opponent to make, and now I can go queen e7, queen h4. But I also have other plans, so I can also think of f5. Uh, but at the moment, I also have h5 ideas. But h5 could be met by knight h5 in some cases. So I'll just bring my knight back, which is not really doing anything here. Hi Amay, Pradeep, Karekar, Mehti, Kuma, Keseo. Hi Ashit Vikram, Hi Khyati Pranjal. How are you all doing? Are you following the uh, World Cup? Let's go Rook D8, a simple move. Just keeping uh, the balance, not doing much. If it takes, I will take. So that's the plan. Any Indian playing? Okay, I will give you the list. Uh, maybe you can type the message and I will pin it. Uh, first, let me handle this position. Can I take this? But I can take it any day. It's not necessary that I take it now. Why is Hikaru not playing the World Cup? I am not sure. Knight mm -hmm. e seven. Okay, I'm now challenging the knight on d5. Because exchanging will favor me. Indians are doing well in World Cup. Yes, Manal, you are right. So you have been following all the updates, it seems. Is the music okay? Just let me know. Rooting for VD against Anish. Ah, okay. Uh, I hope you all watched the preview that uh, me and Rakesh did. Um, and if you've participated in the contest, then good luck. Alright, Papa wants to take this. Really? Maybe. Um, I think I can take with the knight. Position looks scary, but not so anymore. Not so scary anymore. Let's let's get the 
uh, the only open file in control d6 is slightly weak when my opponent goes 94 i have to be careful yeah you see that's what he did go for the move that i was expecting and he wants to go queen h3 and then threaten all these dangerous checks that is his plan i can't take this pawn for obvious reasons um i think i'll first play something like queen e7 i like to play really fast i, I understand that so knight f6 knight g5 king g8 knight e6 Okay, let's go knight f6. Interesting game right now. d5 pawn is hanging. Knight g5, bishop g5. Interesting. So, he wants to take the pawn. The bishop f6. Aha. Uh -huh. If I go queen d7 and f6 is hanging. I have to take this, take this and play rook f8. Yeah, take this first. And then just play king g8, let's say. Yeah, the g6 pawn is weak. That's where I have problems. Once I get bg7, okay, I can say some of my problems can be dealt with. But yeah, bad bishop versus a good knight. That's the main point here. Hello, Nirinj. So, you can follow that uh, match on, uh, on our channel, of course. Go to chess.com slash events. That's the website where you can follow the no casting match between uh, Vishy Sir and Kramnik. Queen e6 wants to go there. What does he want to do? Knight g5, I have queen g5. Mm -hmm. Knight g5. Knight e6. Oh, rook c8. But I have king f7. Oh, this is bad. Terrible. Alright. That was a great game by my opponent. Let's look at who are playing. Uh, Grandmaster Lakshman is playing. Aradhyagar is playing. Then, so let's follow their games. Um, Oh, but the games are over, I think, before I could actually click on them. F, G, H, S, M, N. So, Bharat, Su Bharat Subramanyam, I think, is playing. F, G, H, S, M, N. What an idea. Then, who else? Great game, I went, yes. Hi, Akshay. You watched what? But your comment isn't showing there. Okay, because there are too many comments. Maybe try in the women's section. Ah, but you can no longer guess, I think, because the contest is over. So you, now you can only like sit and watch the games. Hi, Deepak. Vivek Dhawan. Country first. That's why VD first. Okay. So there are 453 players playing in Dial Tuesday tonight. Uh, most of them are actually um, playing in the World Cup and then some of them are playing in open tournaments. There is Grandmaster Abhijit Gupta playing, so we can also watch his games. His username is Abhijit Gupta, so let me just put that. Yeah, so Abhijit Gupta is also playing, he has won the first round. Then we have Blitz King 17 what's his username 1729 okay. so some new names blitz king 1729 
Where is Blitzkin go? Ah, uh, Blitzkin one seven two nine. Okay, so Blitzkin is also here. Then of course we have Grandmaster R R Lakshman. Oh, yeah, that's Indian Elephant. That's his username. Indian Elephant. Okay, that's done. Then who else do we have? We have Dushyant Sharma. I think that's his username. Dushyant. Aradya Gur is here. So Aradya's username is Aradya Two Thousand. Let's also follow him. Then coming down. We have Pranit Vupula, whose story I told you that he did feature in a feature film in one of the scenes of the movie. Check Trump Triumph Meet. Okay, Triumph Meet. That's Dushyant Sharma. Okay, so most of them have won today in the first round. That's good. Then not seeing any women players tonight. No. There is Mitrba and there is Omkar. So Mitra Mitrba has lost his first game. Okay. Then we have Sindil Mar. His username is Hacking Kid ninety eight. Okay. The next round is starting. All right, so I'm now playing playing against Dorina Dimitar. Uh, let's go E4. Hi, Maya. How are you? Abhijit Gupta sir, one twenty nineteen Delhi Open. Yes, you are right. I did play in that event. So I'm thinking of trying uh, the Halloween gambit. So I went for Knight takes E5, and then D4. So I'm playing as a woman fairy master. For a moment, it looks like I'm a piece down, and yes, I'm a piece down. I have just one pawn compensation. How many of you were present in the last idle Tuesday? So there was a record I created without really knowing that it was a record. Bishop B4. Okay, so my opponent doesn't want to like really think or like really save the piece. She has decided to give it up. And yeah, that's also one of the ways to play this. Bishop takes knight. Okay, pawn takes bishop. Double bishop. Advantage. Can I go bishop a three? Then c five. C five. Who will save that? Okay, let's go bishop a three. Actually, e six is the best. But I want to try and prevent my opponent from castling. If b6, I have bishop b5. So that was my idea. So bishop e6, maybe my opponent wants to go um, c5, uh, but he's not able to do it right now. F3, my opponent will go knight g5. Let's go f3. If queen h4 check, I have g3. That's my plan. On knight g5, I am planning to trap my opponent's knight with h4, keeping it very simple. Yes, this is the official channel uh, for Chess.com when it comes to India. Hi, Savita. I am doing great. How are you doing? And Renal, yes, that was a great game with hundred percent accuracy. Mm, now I'm thinking of playing bishop b5 check. I'm also considering queen e3, but there's queen h4 check, which I must take. Mm, what do we do? Queen e3, queen h4 check. King e2, then there is g3, knight g3. Very crazy. <laughs> I don't know whether I should go queen e3 or uh, just take the pawn. Take, I'll just take the pawn. 
So I was actually thinking why not take a feast but for now let's settle with just a pawn. Abhijit Gupta is playing against Michael Golubev and Abhijit is uh, in danger. I'm not sure what the move is but he is in danger. And then we have Dushan Sharma playing against Dan Las. Dan Las is very popular. A6. So he's preparing for castling. I'm saying Rook B1. I'm preparing to take this pawn. Rook C8. Let's come back. Because the job is done. I'll now play bishop d3 and set up a small trap. If he takes this, I will have bishop into h7 check after my opponent castles. It's not a good idea to play for traps that way. Uh, but uh, yeah, you, you can see the, the point. My opponent is already having some counter play. Okay, I'm not going to save that pawn now. I'm saying, okay, take it if you want to. And I have king on f2. My rook will go to b7 given the chance. Yeah, position is fine. After castles, I can no longer take this because the rook is protecting the queen. Then we have Sentil Maran who is white and is playing against woman Fide master. Rook c8. Wow. Pawn to b5. Good move by my opponent. Rook b3. I'm saying this, uh, saying that this queen should go back. And then let's see what we can do. Queen c5. My opponent wants to play the end game. It's a wise decision because my opponent's king is in the center and um, it is, is already an endgame. On rook c6, this is the move hand prepared. This deserves an applause. Nice tactic. If you take this, I'll take this. And then I'll take this. So that way I have managed to win a pawn. But unfortunately, I'm going to lose the pawn back because of a2 problems. So it's coming down to 4 5. That's that means I'm just one pawn up at the end of the day, which should be enough. I'm going to go h4. Can I take this? My opponent has g6. Let's bring the king because in end games, activity of king is very important. I'm going to go king d4. You have not pinned my timestamp comment. All of it's waste. Man, we are through. We are already in July. Let's talk about the title Tuesday tonight. I personally want to be in the present. The title, the charity stream is over. Um, okay, look, before I want to avoid all the checks. Tanishka. Uh, today Harsha Bharat Koti is playing Mitriba Guha uh, then we have Abhijit Gupta and then okay I, I'll tell you after I finish this game because now I am in time trouble and I need to make the moves as soon as possible okay let's go to B8 and then pick up this pawn very important pawn Opponent is taking time to make the move. Okay, rook g8 done. Check. And then I have bishop f7. That was my plan. Rook h8 threat. Rook h8 threatening bishop f7. Seven. Rook G8, Rook G8, Bishop F5. We'll collect all the pawns. Then offer the exchange of rooks. And then this will be winning. Uh, for a while 
and then the pawn is unstoppable okay take the rook okay so there you go i have won the game so uh, to answer your question today dushyant sharma is playing um, then there is a uh, blitz king there is aradya gar there is sentil maran there is arar lakshman abhijit gupta mitra guha uh and that's about it and harsha bharat coach yes so these are the strong players playing in tonight style tuesday yeah so that's about it my uh, just that i don't want to talk about anything other than Tiger Tuesday or anything other than the World Cup. Let's focus on that. Oh, thank you, Manil. But I don't think my uh, opponent, um, like I think my opponent had a lot of chances. It's uh, also I'm not sure if I played the game flawlessly. I think I did some errors because, for example, in this position already, this itself shows that I've given a lot of play to my opponent. So it would be interesting to see exactly uh, how White should play here because this is a critical moment I think. Maybe taking here was a decision I made because I could not find anything here. So this is the move I saw and I felt that it's not enough. So I played the other one. But now that I've experienced the position after Bishop C5, I think maybe I should have gone with Queen E3. Indian elephant is um, RR Lakshman. Hi, Yesh Pratap saying welcome to chess.com India. And hello, the hawk. The endgame part, yeah, that was nice. The endgame part was night, uh, nice. And here Bharat Subramaniam has won against Aradhya. And Bharat Subramaniam has tried the king's gambit. Wow. I think black has done a great job here. Very nice. How did white win this game? Oh, the knight, the poor knight. Okay, still black is very much in control, but here after bishop f4, it's not so clear. Mm -hmm. Knights are pretty bad against uh, outside pass pawns because they find it very difficult to defend uh, as their squares are restricted in the corner. All right, no problem, Maya. Let's talk about Tiger Tuesday. Who will win the World Cup? I gave you my predictions, Rishav Branch. You can check uh, the women section that I did. And Rakesh gave his overview of uh, the men's section of the main World Cup. In the women's section, I feel, uh, I mean, the good news is all the participants are now in round two. So I'm now pretty reluctant to say that one particular player will go really high. I am rooting for all of them and I want all of them to go ahead. All right. This is a Karo Khan. Karo Khan. Let's do um, this. So this is a this is an opening which has a funny story in my life. I saw this um, in a book called uh, Secret of Opening Surprises, and there was this opening mentioned uh, in that book to play knight f3 and then to play knight c6 and. Uh, and then, and then to take and then play d4. I think here the correct move is uh, bishop b5. But okay, in this game I just went with knight c6 and d4. So that's a book or a series of books filled with opening surprises. Rook b8? Why? Why rook b8? That might cost him a lot of time. Okay, attacking my queen so early. No problem. G6. My opponent is making a lot of weird moves. Um, I'm 
tempted to play c4 the reason i'm doing this is because i want to open the position and um, somehow prevent him from castling really i'm okay with it let's see let's see how he responds now let's look at uh, Abhijit Gupta's game, Abhijit has lost the second round, okay. So he is here playing black against Petukhov. An Indian elephant has won both his games. That is Ara Lakshman. Queen d5. Now this is what I was talking about. Now I have some play because my opponent has moved his queen. And you see now my bishop is under attack. So can I play bishop e3, like give this bishop, unfortunately no. So that means I have to retain the bishop. On castling I have queen takes pawn if I want to, but I am not really playing for pawn in this game. I am playing for more. So let's see how far I get. Then we have okay, knight d5. He really doesn't want to castle, no? Okay, let's take knight d5. Cd5, he loses the right to castle, I think, with bishop e3 and bishop a4 coming. Let's see. Will Aronian make a hat trick? Oh, which tournament are you talking about? Arga Gupta, what plans about becoming a GM? Um, I'm just waiting for things to be normal and then maybe once the open tournaments begin, I will start playing. Who is your favorite in our WC team? World Cup team? Nia Sarin, of course. We should be the Queen V2. Did you check my other answer on the WC video? I checked most of them and if I have checked, I will either liked or sent, I posted a comment. Rishabh Raj, I don't know, it's, it's too uh, difficult to say who will win the World Cup. Uh, but I can say what are the characteristics the player will have. The winner will have some amount of luck for sure and uh, his black side repertoire will be very good he'll be very good with tiebreak games and i think at least one of them uh, like let's say two spots go to candidates so at least one of them will have some armageddon drama definitely they would reach some armageddon and win okay my opponent is taking his time out <coughs> if the queen moves to e5 I was considering uh, bishop a4 and now yes wherever the queen moves it's not going to be easy queen b5 okay let's attack the rook okay let's take this let's go here and now threatening mate in one now I am going to take this first rook e8 if I take this he's going to take that no problem no problem let's take this take this and then take this check g3 Bishop C4 Bishop B3 King B2 King F3 He wants to go Rook D2 I get it I'm now threatening f7 pawn. King e1. Take the pawn. 
and now need to threaten a checkmate. So let's go rook e7, bishop g8. But he has rook e3. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. He had a chance to like hold, but yeah, that was great. That was lucky. Here in this position, he had a chance to just force a draw with rook e3, which he missed. Let's look at this game. Indian elephant is playing white. So here Lakshman is white. His opponent has two pawns and yeah, he's likely to lose this one. Okay. Thank you, the hawk. Do you think Casper was a bit rusty? Or is it just over for him? Shwansh, I think Kasparov will remain Kasparov. So I am um, like from that generation where I will like, I'm less likely to uh, feel anything that way. I think Kasparov will remain Kasparov. One game, 10 games, maybe 10 tournaments, still Kasparov will remain Kasparov. The game might be rusty, but uh, I, I still have like, huge support for Kasparov's chess strength it's just that he may not have like practiced a bit but uh, you know the real Kasparov the way he plays is amazing in the same tournament you know you must definitely check out games of Vishisa the way he played fabulous games especially against Nepon Miyachi and uh, I think Wine Forest Okay, so almost all games are over. Abhijit Gupta has lost. Okay, and then we have uh, Arade Gurk who has lost again. But Dushyant Sharma has drawn. And we have Sentil Maran who has lost. So let me just quickly check the standings. Right now, Jospam is leading and Harsha Bharat Kodi from India. We have to follow him. So from the next game, we will also follow Harsha Bharat Kodi. Just adding him. Haratha The Okay. Unable to follow why? Why am I unable to follow him? Oh, Pranit. Pranit is also here. Not sure, it says I am unable to follow Harsha Bharat Kuti, but why? That's my question. Oh, got it. Now I know why. <laughs> okay, let's go Tango. It's because it's Harsha Bharat Kuti. That's underscore. I was putting dash. Alright, then we'll also follow Pranit, who is right now three bar three. So that's um, Pranit. Bishop g5, let's go h6. Bishop h4, let's go g5. And let's go d6. I think, yeah, d6. If it goes queen c2, I win a pawn with g4. It's important to play this move, otherwise I would lose the bishop on queen a4 check once I move my knight. Namaste, Subantore. Thank you, Spam Elabeda. Brilliant chess opening, Dhruv. Which opening do you want to play? Yes, Mendel, you are right. Yes, she wants. That's very well put. It's like, uh, you know, how Dhoni is. Just because of one wicket here and there, we can't really say much. But great players, they remain great for all they have done. 95, free pawn? Yeah, it's a free pawn.
Did you like the video we did today? Today is the birthday of uh, Nihal Sarin. So Rakesh recorded a very nice video today. I hope you have seen it. So I'm okay uh, with uh, giving this pawn. I'll go king e7. I'm also thinking if he goes castles, I have g4. But yeah, that will be too much. Again, this opponent is also not really interested in castling. I haven't castled myself. That's another story. What do we do? Let's go c6. Let's go d5. First, I'll move my king and then decide on other things. So my opponent has played queen b2. He wants to pin. Nice move. This is hanging, but my opponent did not notice it. I'm not going to take this. Enough of this, Bishop. I'm going to take this and say thank you very much. And then I'm going to play Queen C5, controlling F5, and threatening B5. Okay, I can threaten B5, but it's not going to be much. So why not play D5 then? opponent might go f4 someday so let's bring the rook to e8 so yeah Pranit is having a good game he's playing against 2789 wow knight c6 pretty solid okay as expected my opponent has played his pawn to f4 and this is what I was going to do. The big news today, uh, I don't know if you all noticed, but the big news today is that the Olympiad, the online Olympiad is going to be back in August. Ah, good question, Shivansh. Uh, I'm going to give you one simple strategy, like how Chanakya would give. One simple strategy but very effective is that you exchange the bishops and you see I'm going to do Nihal Sarin move. Huh? Bishop takes f5, rook f5, rook h1. Unfortunately it's not that effective. <laughs> so I will have to uh, play king g6 I think. So the Olympiad is back. Mm, that's the big news. Bishop takes d5. Okay, let's take this. Will I get a chance to make Nihar Sarin move? No. Not yet, it seems. Fortunately for me, all my pieces are hanging, uh, hanging to ground. I mean, they are being supported in some way, in some magical way. Nothing is happening yet. Okay, so I have managed to defend my team. Okay, check. Come on, check. So there should be some mate here. But yeah, not able to see it. Queen F2 is my idea. Queen F2 mate, come on, Queen F2. Wow, he defended that. 
I'm gonna play C4 next. I thought it's gonna be a mate, but it's not so easy. Okay, let's go C4. I'm gonna play C3 also next. E4, C3. Queen A6, pin. C2. Oh, make the move. I wanted him to make a move, so I could have shown Queen B3, C1 is equal to Knight. Never mind. So, Pranit is on fire. Wow, he has won another game. And Harsha Bharat Koti has also won. Let's quickly check. Uh, so, I'm, I was actually going to answer your question, right? About how to break the stone wall. So, let me give you an example, okay? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, let us assume that uh, uh, sorry, black is setting the stone wall. Okay. When black is setting the stone wall, you must aim to exchange this bishop with this bishop. Okay. Your dark square bishop. That should be your target as white. Now let's reverse the color. Let's say it is black who is uh, playing against the stone. In this case, um, when your opponent goes f4, you can break the stone wall by putting pawn to g6. The idea is to exchange this bishop with bishop f5. And that is how you can, you know, deal with the stone wall. And then pawn takes bishop. When the knight comes to e5, don't capture it. Instead, work on putting your own knight on e4. So that's a simple idea to combat the stone wall. All right, let's look at Harsha Bharat Kodi's game. So Harsha employed the English and um, he got d4. And then he castled king side. Got a very pleasant position, I would say, as white. He picked up the pawn on b7 and then played e4. And after bishop d4, queen e4, wow, queen h3. Bishop h3, there is knight f3 check, but Harsha was not perturbed by this move. He simply played bishop to g5 and then after queen g4 just took on f6 and knight d5. This is a dream position for white. After king g7 he got his rook so that this rook also gets to join the game. No, he first picked up the pawn but this was like this was I think unnecessary. After queen d6, knight d5, black did get some play. Uh, maybe that was unnecessary, but now he's back into the game and is clearly winning. Wow, nice. This was a nice game by Harsha Bharat Koti. Let's look at uh, the game of Pranit Upula. So Pranit uh, employed this uh, relatively new line with d5 and d7. I think I've seen some any GM play this probably Anish Kiri no not Anish um, I think it was probably employed by uh, somebody from the candidates I'm not able to recall but I have seen this in candidates I think okay I like White's position to be honest I'm not sure uh, if if uh, Pranit actually got what he wanted in this game. White's position is fine. White is attacking. He's getting all his pieces into the attack. Okay, nice see two. Play d5. Very good. And then bishop f6. Bishop f6. I think he should have gone for bishop f6. Knight g2 just come back. But he went for rook e1. Then after queen f4, he took the exchange. And now he should take the pawn on e6. Okay, e7, bishop e8, bishop d5 check is not coming because uh, the king is pinned. So queen d3, alright, b6, queen d5 check, king h8, rook e4, maybe not, not rook e4. Anything else, what should white do? I want to give a check on the h line. 
So maybe rook e3. He played rook e4 and after queen g3 he played queen d8 which was a blunder because black wins in two moves. Duda played this I think. Um, I don't know. I can check it. But, but not now. Okay let me just check who played it. I think it's good for me also as part of revision and see. Because I really remember um, that when this move was played initially, uh, it, it was also um, it also appeared somewhere in a magazine. And then knight b6. Let's see where was this played. This was played by Alexianko. Yeah, correct. Kirill Alexianko. I think that was a uh, game. It was played by Kirill in FidechS.com Grand Swiss against Karyakin. So I had this idea that somebody from the candidates played this and I was right. This game happened in 2019 um, where he put knight d7 and knight b6 and the bishop came to f5. So Karyakin versus Alexienko Kirill 20th October 2019. Okay. All right. One question by Madhav. Mother, uh, I mean, to ask this question itself is, um, I, mean, I don't know if you must really uh, ask this question because most games on chess.com are blitz rapid, right? So if you look at it that way, um, the field is completely different, right? But yes, there is a close resemblance, I would say. So Shivan Shah have answered, uh, answered your question. Yeah, you're right. There are some real threats in Stonewall. There was a time where I was afraid of the Stonewall myself. And then I um, got to know about how to break the Stonewall. I remember I attended a coaching camp in Goa where there was a coaching camp by um, Raghunandan Gokhale, who was also a very good coach, Dronacharya awardee. He uh, showed us uh, how to play against the stone wall this was back in 2006 the competition in south india is so much more yeah i i agree i mean in chennai itself it's like very tough uh, i remember that in uh, 2011 i went to play a cycle tournament a cycle tournament means you play that tournament and you win, you get a cycle. And I was like uh, the second seed of the event and I thought, okay, I was the second seed, I should have it easy. But right from the first round, you know, it was very challenging. So there are these kids in Chennai and they're very strong at tactics. It's not so easy to play in Chennai. Who is my favorite to win in World Cup? I have answered that question in the video. Do watch the video I did, um, I think two days back, on the chess.com India's YouTube channel. You are going through the same time. Uh huh. Yes, Mandel is right. Let's get to 100 likes. Hmm, so I think four rounds are over and we have a break. That's the reason we are um, like getting so much time. Candidate Master Reality Stone is in lead, which is a great news for Indians. Harsha Parkot is also for bar four. Then there is Blitz King. Now I suddenly recall Blitz King's name. His name is Srihari LR. That is Blitz King. Again, a very uh, tricky player. Uh, I've played against him a couple of times, and at once I was also very close, or let's say on the verge of losing. He's a great tactician among the juniors and is very underrated, in my opinion.
Hmm. Game has begun. <laughs> I'm playing against Zubr, and I have played against him in the last title Tuesday as well. That was the game where I got hundred percent accuracy. I just realized that the game had started already. in the last uh, event yeah three log i noticed it just now that my time is running out i was watching the the stream which is running in delay obviously night before we should take so there is a deliberate delay between the live game and uh, the a youtube stream or the twitch stream we are also streaming on twitch by the way so twitch.tv slash chesscom in that's the um link for twitch rook c8 let's go king h1 i want to go f4 so i don't want to face any check so that was a preparatory move and then i think i can go queen e1 queen h4 right can you show that game in which you got 100 um, uh, i think uh, mirnal can post a link mirnal i request you to kindly post the link of that of that moment where i got uh, Uh, where I got paired against Zubr, and uh, then Samarth can maybe click on that video and uh, watch the game. Queen B six. What is the idea? Let's go knight G four. I want to go bishop E three. Yeah, this was my idea. F4 I'll just take 94 Harsha Balkoti by the way is having a lot of time on his clock I just saw that he is doing great in the position you can see this is Harsha Balkoti 97 what is the idea let's queen let's go queen e2 rook d1 if it takes i'll just take okay this is going to be a game of waiting moves because i need to find a lot of waiting moves bd4 rook d4 so i finally decided to go dynamically in this game I made a dynamic decision to play bishop d4 and exchange pieces. Maybe it was not necessary. If it takes, I will take. And this pawn on e5 will be kip. No, ikp. Isolated king pawn. What is kip? It's ikp. Correct. F4. I'll just take the knight, take the pawn, and then take the bishop. Queen c8. I think it's a good idea to take and then play rook d1. Yes, it is. And then I have bishop a3 ideas. I have knight d3 ideas. The position looks pleasant. Now e5 problems. I don't know how he will sort that out. But I like my position. Oh, knight g3. The knight wants to come here. Oh, suddenly this knight jump is changing a few things because he has moves like queen e3. 
I'll take, he takes, I take. Yeah. He suddenly gets this power to create a lot of threats. Which I don't like. Okay, it's coming close. 35 versus 25. Okay, going fine so far. Take and then go 95. 96 stack is threatened. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to remove that. <laughs> now, F6 is threatened. Oh, that was a slip. I was not going to do that. Now I'm going to play for a win. Ah, uh, his knight is caught. Oh, it's not caught yet. I thought his knight is caught. So my opponent got his revenge. Okay, so there were some un unexplainable moves. For example, here I wanted to move my rook, but I just went to go. I went to c5, but I wanted to go to g5. Somewhere else, I was avoiding squares like d4 or d8 because these were dangerous squares. Knight would give a discovered check, so that was my intention. So in order to avoid a small danger, I went in for a bigger one. That's a lesson. And then there was this moment where I just gave a pawn. So there were a lot of moves which I was not actually intending to play, but yeah. All right, Aradhya has won this one. Probably that was my last game. Uh, probably that was the game that was last, and that's why I immediately have a game starting. So what's happening to standings? I could not really watch the other game. Oh, so both Harsha and. Um, Pranit both have lost their games. Yeah, thank you, Manal. Nine C three nine F six. Bishop P five ninety four. So this is called the four knights and Rubin's generation. Bishop A four. Let's go Bishop C five. Okay, let's castle. Knight d3, we should be 6. e5, rook e8. Can I go knight g4? No. So, what a trap! What a trap! See, this knight on f6 is just trapped. There's just no future for this knight. 
That is a pity. <laughs> so this video master has come up with some really nice traps up his sleeve. Bishop h3 is my threat. Let's see what it does. If I win this game, it's a miracle. Bishop f5 now threatening rook takes bishop. Okay, let's see how is uh, Harsha doing. Harsha is black, he's playing against rook 2000. d4 e6. Look at the opening, knight f3 b6. Bishop a4, fine. Let's go g5. So this is called Owen's defense, but it went into the hippopotamus uh, territory. Then I have faced this hippopotamus. A lot of players do play this uh, every now and then in open tournaments. Personally, I don't like that opening so much. So it's like this, you put bishop here, above. This is gone. This is bad. Alright, so let's go to where is where is where is Harshabad Court? Yeah, this is the game. So I was talking about the hippopotamus wherein you see this is a structure and then eventually the side will, uh, black will play h6 g5 or a6 b5 and yeah white will play for e5 or d5 depending on how he has placed his pieces and yeah looks like white has no problems in this game but uh, let's see knight f6 bishop f6 bishop b7 queen b7 and bishop b5 that is possible here we have Pranit playing against National Master H G Thai W W M S. Seems like some random letters put together to form a username. Yeah, he's uh, right now having a tough position with Knight on A4. Roro's stuff. So this is the position of Harshabad Kodi right now. Opponent gave up his bishop. So now Harsha has two bishops. I think he's in a comfortable position. Just move the bishop to g7, bring the rook to d8, and black is doing great. Black has a super solid position. And plus the pawns are separated, which which gives additional advantage to black. Let's look at Aradya's game. Aradya is playing black here. Oh, he's in a minus position right now. He's playing knight c7 to protect uh, the pawn on b5, but after c4, the rook will come to b7. But still, I think uh, white is anyway winning. Even if after king d7, um, white is an exchange up and is likely to win. Rook takes knight d2. Oh, he can't play rook takes knight. That was a nice spot. I mean, he could have gone wrong. White could have gone wrong. And now I, I actually fancy chances of Aradya to make a draw here. It's not easy anymore. And Hikaru is leading right now, right? Hikaru. Who is leading? Tamir. Nabati is leading, okay. Hikaru is on four and a half out of five right now, as we speak, okay. 
that game was played last title Tuesday. So in chess.com right now it shows 99.5 but you go to chess.com slash analysis and you paste that game in VGN and then it will show 100% accuracy. Thank you Jignesh. Okay, this is heading towards the draw is what I feel. And here we have Pranit in a very tight position. There's mate in one. Uh, so he lost the game. Then we have Harsha's game only. So let's look at Harsha's game. Queen d3. Bishop c3 keeping an eye on e1. And b4. Rook has to come to b3. Oh, he also has ideas to go g4. But he goes for rook b5. I think rook b5. And then just take the e1 knight. Yeah, this is going to be winning. He just move the bishop, right? And just move the bishop because he could not. Uh, he, he, it's not possible for White to take the queen because of the back rank. But for some reason, he decided to do something else. The position is so winning that even that move was enough to win. Yeah, yeah. He just take H into G4 also, and then it's winning. Yeah. Nice, nice move. Rookie 1 is threatened. Rookie 1 made unstoppable. And with that, Harsha wins. So Harsha is 5 or 6. So he's one Indian player who is doing really well in this title Tuesday. Here we have Dushyant Sharma playing black and is about to win against Manukyan. Very good. Good score. Then we have Sintil Maran. Defeating Grandmaster in this position. Wow. Let's look at this one. He's just defeated a Grandmaster. Wow. This is D takes E6. What is the idea? If opponent plays Bishop into G2, he wants to play Knight F7. Wow. Very well spotted by Sentin Maran. Again, intermediate move. <laughs> Yeah, he's just complete rook up. Very nice game by Sentil Manan, who goes by the username HackingKid98 on chess.com. Then we have um, the Blitz King, Srihari Ella. He has drawn the game uh, thanks to a perpetual. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why Hikaru is not playing the World Cup? Um, I don't know, so I can't really answer. Samat, it, if you go right now, it's 99.5. So you go to chess.com slash analysis. You paste the pigeon of my game and then you check the accuracy. So at a basic level, it is um, 100. But then if you go depth wise, then it will change. I didn't see Harsha in free tournaments. Khilan Panchal, Harsha has been playing for a, for a really long time now. You are not seeing him right now in free events because not many tournaments are happening right now in India. After 2020 February, I have not played over the board event. So. So that tells you why uh, he hasn't played. All right, let's go. I'm playing against a woman candidate master, Nancy, five times one. And she has a display picture of Tom. Wow. I am a huge Tom and Jerry fan. G6. Uh, what opening shall we go? Nine F3. Let's go bishop c4. And the reason I'm playing queen e2 is because I'm avoiding knight takes pawn. If I had castled my opponent would have definitely played knight takes pawn. Harsha Bharatkoti is playing against Vlad Sid. Again, he's employing the English. D5. 
Interesting. Let's go bishop d3. If he takes, we take. Knight d5. Let's go c3. Preventing knight d4. Let's castle. He wants to go knight f4. Let's go g3 and prevent that idea. He wants to go e5. Can I prevent that? I don't think so. Can you prevent e5? That is a kind of move which is hard to prevent. <laughs> Alright, so let us pretend as if it doesn't matter if he gets a e5 break. In fact, it does. So I just uh, provoked him to play h6. So if play knight f8, I don't think that was necessary. That was a mistake, to be honest. I think that was a mistake. If my opponent takes a knight, I will take back. Alright, so Harsha Koti. Knights are off the board, uh, just, just one knight now. The f6 and f3 are no longer there. I think uh, Harsha will eventually get f4 break, is what I feel. That is my hunch. How do you think Vishi is gonna do in no castle? According to my sources right now, or according to one of the interviews that I read, uh, Vishy sir has actually practiced quite a lot on a computer with this no castling and uh, he takes these games very seriously and I feel he's going to do really well in uh, that event. Any criteria for qualifying for the World Cup? There were so many criteria, like there were so many chances. Uh, one of the events was ASF qualifiers. Uh, in fact, I had also like made attempt to register myself to that event, but because I have, my rating is 2289, I felt like 11 points short of playing the event and that's the reason I could not play. So the, the qualifying event was basically open to those players who are 2300 and above right now. I have crossed 2300 many times but uh, since February 2020 I, I could not pass that. Then in addition to that I think being in the top 100 was also one of the criteria. Then uh, there's also this um, uh, uh, EICF entry like the federation could nominate one. So likewise there was different uh, ways in which the uh, players were picked. And Vidit also got entry uh, in one of the uh, ways I think because his rating was high and that was enough. Oh, Samar, that is weird. You got 99.2. Hmm, should I go F5? No, not yet. Let's go G4. On bishop g4, I want to put my knight on g3. Uh, this is my idea, and then I'll go f5. Interestingly, the break that I was afraid of, you know, this break e5, is still not come on the board, which is really strange. Okay. My opponent has played e6. She's preventing f5. Good. Interesting. Let's go h4 and then threaten h5. <laughs> that is also prevented. Wow. And now what do I do? Which piece of mine can be improved? Let's go b4. Uh, this is a move I like. So I'll take this. And then I will go a5, knight b2, 
this is attack so i defend it oh so many pieces are attacking it Bishop and because of the pawn, light light square weakness. Practically, it's much more easy to set traps with black here. Oh, but he's one on time. Great. So Harsha is doing great in this title Tuesday. Then here we see Blitz King, Srihari, LR trying to survive this end game in which he's a piece down. The thing is, after H4, he can actually hold. Because this bishop and this pawn, they are wrong color rook pawn. So it's going to be a wrong color rook pawn draw. So congratulations to Sri He has successfully managed to hold this. Samar Jagdish Rao. You have to go to chess.com slash analysis and try. I have put a screenshot on my Facebook. You can check it. How to reach the candidates? I mean a player less than 2700. Um, again, in, to reach candidates, there are different ways. If you win the Isle of Men, I think there's a, there's a tournament that's going to happen in October, which is like a Swiss league. Even the top two places there uh, uh, get selection for candidates. So that's also one way of getting your ticket to the candidates. Okay. Sindhil Maran has lost this one. Dushan Sharma has won. I think this is the previous game. Wow, Dushan Sharma has won in 13 moves. Let's check. How did he win this game in 13 moves? Bishop c5. 95. Yes, correct. Correct. Okay, so yes, basically. One a piece here because this knight cannot move as this is hanging and this knight cannot move because the knight on e5 is hanging. Queen d2, what is the idea? He's basically supporting the pawn, okay? And then he's playing bishop e2. Now what is the idea? He wants to take... He wants to play knight d5, that is his idea. So that if the queen moves, he can take the knight. d6, knight d5. Oh, it's just not that. The queen is trapped. You see, the queen cannot come to a6, cannot come to b5, cannot come to a5, cannot come to c5. It cannot come to c6 because of check and fork. Wow, very nice win by Dushyant Sharma. He's a Fide master from India. Let's go Mora Gambit. This is called the reverse Mora Gambit. Yes, welcome to my world where I teach you how to play white with black. Can I go? Let's go Bishop C5. H3, that is passive. That is passive, my friend. Ah, 
Have I managed to trick my opponent? Because now I'm getting NF2. Yeah, so the Mora Gambit has worked here. I will take this and attack the Rook. Now I'm threatening Rookie at check next. Now I'm setting a small trap. If my opponent is king f1, knight g3 is a mate. <laughs> nice. But my opponent has seen that trap. Very good. Very good. He has seen the trap. And I want to go g5. Knight g3, king f2. Let's go rook e8. Uh, let's take this and then go rook e8. <laughs> now I'm trading double. Now I'm trading discovered check. This game is fun. Every move there is some tactical element. Now my next pawn is taken. Now let's do another another tactic. What would we do? Rook check. King c2. No. Um. How about attacking this bishop? This is a fishy move. Fishy move indeed. Yeah, I knew it. It's a fishy move. Because I will take a d2 knight now. You will see the magic. Magic of two pieces. No problem. Now no matter what is going to lose a piece. Check. Dun, 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 dun. This is what I meant. Okay, there you go. Two pieces for a rook. Knight check, king d3, knight check. Let's go knight check. Knight check. If he goes king b4, it's a fork. If he goes king e3, there is no fork, unfortunately. But I will pick up this one. Can I go h5? Why not? Now indirectly supporting the pawn on a5 because of the fork, but not anymore. My opponent is smart. He spotted the trick. I'm gonna push, 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 and then see where it takes me. H3, I can't do. Now if I go nd3, his He's got king g4, h3, rook takes knight, h2, rook h5. Unfortunately, my dreams to promote end there. So I will threaten bishop c8. Check. Check. Going good. I have to come back. X3 King G3. There is very little hope. Mm -hmm.
trying to uh, you know end the game in a draw because this position is not easy not easy suddenly it's uh, black who has to be like really careful because the pawns have come too far oh now he's actually playing for a win <laughs> this seems like not going to end soon, huh? Ha <laughs> ha! Ninety five. I need to go ninety five. Rook H five. Okay. Let's go bishop g4 and ask a question. Ah, finally. Finally, he fell in my trap. Okay, finally. <laughs> okay, king f3. But it's not over yet. It's not over. <laughs> that was a really deadly trap. Okay, check. Let's go another check. Okay, this is winning. This is winning. Come on. Oh my. Come on. This is winning. He really gave a lot of like he gave me a tough fight in that position with rook versus two pieces. I thought it's going to be great for me, but it was very close. And maybe at one moment he was even better. Nice trap, yeah. <laughs> Bishop f5 was a nice trap. Thank you, Eril, Vaibho, and Minil. Thank you very much. Let's look at what happened to Harsha Koti. Oh, Hasha lost his game to Renato. Renato is uh, pretty tricky when it comes to his style. Oh, but you see, I don't like so many pawn moves from black side. And then b6, a5, e4. Black is in command in this position, there's no doubt about it. I was slightly suspicious. I was feeling suspicious about the choice of moves, <clears throat> but Harsha has a great position here. And then just take, 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 and then look. Huh? What does Rook H2? Oh, that was some. That was a blunder, Rook H2. So he, Harsha here just resigned. I think he just missed a great chance in this game. That's unfortunate. So whose game shall we see next? Who is leading right now? Oh, I don't see any Indian players in the list. So Harsha is on 6 bar 8 and since 8 rounds are over, we have a break. It's break time. So for all those of you who have just joined, let me play the standings. If you're not sure about the standings, I think this is a good way to know what hap what is happening in the World Cup.
So those were the results of the day in World Cup. So we'll be seeing a lot of action tomorrow as well because Kukesh will be playing the tie breaks. And uh, don't forget to tune into chess.com slash TV tomorrow, 5.30 p.m. onwards, I think. There will be a tie break and uh, on 15th July, we will see a lot of Indian players in action, all of them playing in the same tournament hall. Uh, Vidit and Hari Krishna plus uh, Hari Kadronavalli will also be joining and even Bhakti will be playing her first game on 15th against Bela Kotinashvili. So some pairings have already been decided and some are yet to be uh, decided. Yeah, Murali you are right. We have reached 96. I think just four of you can like and then we are crossing 100 soon. So Khilan Panchal uh, says that he wants to see Indian players playing in candidates. Who do you think from present players can make it happen in a candidates? We have Hari Krishna, we have Vidit Gujarati, we have Adiban, we have um, Nihal Sareen. I think yes, there are a lot of good chances for Indian players. Five years down the line, we'll definitely see at least two or three players making it to candidates, I think. So the count is now 97. So do like the stream and we'll cross 100. Harsha is right now on 6 par 8. Okay. Hikaru is back, yeah? Ho oh, oh. So Hikaru is now on 7 out of 8. So Harsha still has chance to score 9 out of 11 if he wins the remaining 3 games. Hi, what's up, saying? I read your comment on the Dhoni video. Thank you for watching it. Watson Singh, yes, I told my predictions already. Did you check my video? I did. I did. I did cover the women's part and Rakesh covered the men's part. Okay, so we are waiting for uh, the ninth round to begin. There are three more rounds left. Okay, there you go. JS Mastro Piero. I'm playing against a Fide Master and there's an Indian clash here. Srihari, no, it's not Indian. Aradhya is playing someone else. Okay, let's go knight f3. Knight c3. I want to go Halloween Gambit. This is the Halloween Gambit. Knight. Let's go d5. Knight e7, there is e5. So my opponent has given up on uh, ambitions of uh, keeping a pawn. And yeah, he's actually playing in my style, like giving up material and playing. So he's saying he doesn't want the pawn back, but he wants to complete his uh, development. So, so that was his uh, his take on the game. Which is very good, I think. His approach was good in this game. And I'm now developing my pieces. And once I develop my queen, I can say I have connected my rooks. But f6, nice move again. 
And can I go Queen F3? No, it doesn't look good. Going Knight E2 because I want to go Knight G3. Yes, you are right. Of course, I uh, I follow Dhoni. Uh, it's wrong to say that I follow crickets. I only follow Dhoni mainly. And Bishop D6. Bishop G3. I think let's go Bishop G3. I don't keep track of the ongoing scores, but uh, Dhoni is is my favorite cricketer, favorite human being. Pratham, hi, how are you? How is life? I want to put my knight on d4. Um, bother this um, piece a little bit. But okay, I will have to take this because I don't want my, that knight to take on g3. Now I'm threatening knight takes c6, pretty obvious. Now I'm threatening bishop h7, bishop g6, queen h7, mage. How will he defend this? g6. Mm -hmm. So if I want to draw, I have a draw. Let's go. Ah, that was a slip. I wanted to play F4. Never mind. Today, I did a lot of bow slips, which is very unlike me. Okay, let's go F4. Rook F3 and Rook G3. This is my plan. Rook D4, let him take that knight. I don't mind. Rook G3 check. This is the move he has. Okay. Take. I need to protect the knight. Bishop g4. What is my opponent's idea? He's taking the queen and the knight. Oh no, that is bad. So I'm so many pieces down. So now it occurs to me that I should have just taken a draw. Queen a1. Mm -hmm. Going to lose my queen or what? Yeah, it seems like it. It was a bad display, bad show by Niranjan. Okay. So we have Harsha Parakoti playing against Candidate Master who's rated 2700. And I think he's the only player in the top right now. 6 bar 8. So let's keep our eyes on Harsha. Knight Bishop, Knight Knight. Okay, I sense a potential pawn break on the queen side with b4. This might open some doors for white. Um, I don't see much potential here, but if there is an end game, then these pawns will be targets, long term targets, because white has a light square bishop. So I think this is going to be great. Interesting. King h1, knight g7. I think b4 break will come very soon. Oh, Pratham, congratulations for being the 100th, or let's say the person to have got the 100th like. Everyone loves Mahim. Can't deny that. Watsal is right. Top two in the FIDE World Cup, uh, they qualify for candidates. Come on, B4, come on, B4. So, 
the big news today for all those who have joined just now the big news is that it's going to be olympiad happening again and it's going to be online on chess.com from august 13th um and then uh, entire august will be in world cup even uh, the first half of september will also be uh, full of world cup uh, the finals will take place in the month of september but the base divisions and then quarter finals and all that will take place from august onwards Hilan Pancha, you want to see me in World Cup next time? Yes. Uh, for me to be in the World Cup, I will have to play in the Asian Continental or the qualifiers. And for me, uh, you know, the funny thing is, right from the year 2015, I have been trying to play the World Cup. So whenever I really want to play the World Cup, uh, you know, my rating has always been in 2200. And when I have my rating as 2300, there is no World Cup. So it has been that way. So let's hope that I get to play the qualification and then let's let's see if I can make it to the World Cup. Here, Rook C6 and Rook BB6. This is what I want to do as white. This is almost the Alec Hines gun. Almost. Rook C6, Rook B6. And then it's game over. Wow, amazing, amazing. Harsha is doing great. This game was nice. So that, that puts Harsha on 7 out of 9. Two more games to go. Olympiad you mean? The time control will be 10 plus 2 I think. Yeah. You know even the national champion qualifies to the World Cup so I will either have to win that one or um, like play in a qualifier for Asian continent and top 7 or 6 qualify from there but I think for everything to happen first uh, the situation in India should change for any tournament to take place okay ah here Dushant has won another game he moves on to five and half. This time he's playing against the Accelerate Dragon. F4. This is rare. I haven't seen this before. Grand Prix or Grand Prix attack. That's the style of this opening. Wow. <laughs> D3 is a poisonous spawn, but his opponent just took it. And then at 6 fg6 wow knight cannot be taken because of the mate knight takes e1 okay pawn takes pawn rook takes pawn knight takes rook and attacking the queen not giving any chance to the black knight and then again rook f6 threatening rook g6 wow dushant is playing really well in this tournament very good dushant i also saw your previous game you did really well there you will be rooting for me in the qualifiers amazing so i at least have one person in this world apart from my family who will be rooting for me in the qualifiers thank you Watson. if you don't play chess after 2300 rating will remain same the thing is i kept on playing tournaments so so my rating came down after that i went up to 2399 in live rating and then I came back. All right. But with the current form, I won't be able to make it. So I'll have to practice more and work hard on my game. And then I'll be able to do it. So ultimately, we see Hikaru leading. Yeah, Hikaru is on 8 out of 9. Nabati Tamil is on 8 out of 9. Let's go. Next game has begun. I'm playing against the Philip Master. I want to try the Mora Gambit with the black side. So you guys know the secret. What I mean by Mora Gambit with the black side. Okay. Eduardo Peralta. Harsha is playing Eduardo. 
and Rodchenko, my opponent is yet to make his move. Let's stick with this game. This is called Torre Attack. It's quite dangerous, often underestimated. Finally, we see a move. No. So knight d2, then e3, bishop d3, knight e5, and f4. That's that's the plan in that uh, Torre attack. So let's go for another, another. Oh, he did not accept my gambit, which is sad. <laughs> so he wants to like really take the pawn. Panchal, are you playing full time chess? Uh, yeah, I play whenever I can. I teach whenever I can. But primarily, I'm working on working with chess.com. So that's what I do. If you ask me what I do for a living right now. Okay, d5 is hanging. If I take knight takes knight, he has queen f3 check. Bishop f6, he will take my queen. That's the story. I can't push this. Oh. Okay, I'll play bishop f6. Rook d5, no problem. Queen has come to b6. Bro, you don't know how to play chess. Okay, you can learn it. No problem. a dangerous threat. Rook e7 is a dangerous threat. Mm, need to do this. Unfortunately I had to do that. King of 8, yes 96. So 96. Oh. King f6. How can I get federating? You can get federating by playing in federated tournaments. And right now in India, there are no federated tournaments. So please wait until uh, the entire country returns to normal and then you can play. My knight is lonely. <laughs> it's too far away from action. Let's go nice. So you will go rook g5 also. No, it doesn't want to go there. 
Wow, very clean. That was very nice move by my opponent. Did my opponent offer it wrong? King G5 was a nice trap. But yeah, my opponent did not fall for it. Yeah, this is lost. Yeah, my play has been uh, very below the standard today. No, no doubt about it. Okay, we have Harsha versus Eduardo Peralta and Harsha is black. By the position it looks he's winning because he's a piece up. And just one pawn compensation, not even enough to keep any initiative. I think this is going to be winning. But Harsha is having less time. And Harsha's opponent has been offering a draw. I just see from the chat. Okay. Queen d5, centralizing the queen, keeping an eye on g2 makes sense. I think this rook will now come to b7 and join the party with rook b2. King at 7, f5. Oh. So he has to exchange queens then. Aha, uh -huh, this is not going to be easy. Yes, Pratham, that's right. Kilan Pratham has answered your question, but in order to win against federated players, you first have to play in a tournament. So I was getting at that. So first you find a tournament and then you uh, register yourself on ASF website. Uh, you become a ESF member, then you become uh, your state association, uh, like member of your state association, and then um, you have to play against nine federated players and score a minimum of one and a half points. I think uh, that's the basic rating to have any rating in in FIDE profile. King J rook D8, King at seven rook D7. Oh, this is not going to be easy. Not gonna be easy. Knight f6 is coming. That's a that's a relief. Knight f6, yes. And then rook b7. Move the rook. Oh no. That is shocking. Harsha had a great chance to finish in the top in this event. But now he has lost on time. Okay. On which site? ASF.org is the website I think for ASF. But wait, wait for the tournaments to begin. I don't see any tournaments happening in this month. So once I think probably October, September, October is uh, my hunch. Things can get started after September, October. That is if we don't see any danger in India. If people manage to stay in their houses. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to the next one. Here we have Giga Kwapadze. 9 bar 10 and Hikaru on 8 and a half bar 10. The last round is going to decide a lot of things. We have uh, Bharat Subramanian. On seven out of ten right now. That's a good uh, good achievement. I think seven by ten in last round. So either Harsha or Bharat Subramanian, one of them will top today. Yeah, Harsha lost on time. Let's wait for the last round.
All right. The next round is about to start. Any interesting games going on? This is the game that's going on that's delaying our last round. <laughs> so I see the messages in the comments to this game. Is somebody asking the player to resign? Yeah, the game will get over now. Nice. So we'll have the next round now. This is the last round. I'm playing against Ni Masha, Fide Master from Russia, woman Fide Master. And we see four, yes. We don't see Harsha in the list. Baby is left. But we have Bharat Subramanian playing. Dushan Sharma is playing Greg Shahadi. Okay, finally we have a move, so let's go Mora Gamut. Please take the pawn, please. Yeah, thank you very much. The challenge has been accepted and we are now in the Mora Gambit zone. Let's go Knight F3, let's castle. And then pick up this pawn. I don't want to pre-move knight c3 because if my opponent had played uh, something else like the cb2 then I would be in danger. This is not the best way to put your bishop because d6 is suffering. You see it's gone. The position is gone. So I'm going to play f4. It's it's gone. Position is busted. <laughs> Look at the position. It's already f7 is already in danger. My knight on d6, very proud. Queen d6. Okay, check. We have to move. Oh, but I need to be careful. Rook h2. Wow, brilliant. I did not see this. I'm not going to take this one, just simply take the pawn and I still have some initiative going on. Thank you. So what else can I do? Maybe bishop at 6. I'll go bishop e4 to attack this one. Knight c6. What is the idea? My boy wants to put the knight on e5. So I'll go bishop f6 and stop it. managed to defend the position the position was close to lost but she did make a comeback if I go to key one my progress f5 Okay, let's go a4, supporting the pawn. Questioning this knight where it wants to go. Rook f2, seems interesting. Oh, 
my opponent is having some threats in mind. Sentil Maran, Praneet. These are the players playing right now. E5 is called BG8. Yeah, this is my idea. And then to get this pawn. Have I succeeded in my plan? Yeah, I've managed to win that very important pawn. How about this check? And then how about the pin? Bishop, bishop, bishop takes bishop, knight takes rook, bishop d1, knight e3, king f2, f4. Very nice, I would have lost that. Fortunately, I have seen the trap. Okay, now I'm attacking this pawn. Let's take the ball. Give it a check. And then now. Uh, group P2. Is this a mate? No, unfortunately, it is not a mate. Okay, let's pick up this pawn. Knight g4. What is my opponent's idea though? I want to go rook check, rook check. Keep doing the rook check business. Take and then another rook here and then I pick up this one. So I think all this while. Yeah, finally my opponent designed very kind of him. Let's go to the game that we were supposed to see. This one. Bharat Supramanyam is on 7. And if he wins, I think he has a great chance to be the top finisher for India. Okay. Soja Y. Soja Y. What is Soja Y? No idea. Soja Y. You mean Soja Bhai? Maybe that's what you meant. Yeah, yeah, I'm just waiting for the game to end and then I will sleep. So, I think just one round left. Just some games in the last round and Rook B8 check, then King D6, and then King C5. Rook takes pawn, Knight D5. Knight D5, will he do it? He's going King C5, okay. Knight D5, yes, finally. King D5. Rook G3, King takes C4. Rook C3, very important move. And then this pawn will now promote, I think. Oh, the game has changed suddenly. The, the dance of the evaluation bar is telling us. Yeah, this is lost. So we actually don't have any uh, anybody on seven and a half or eight and a half, I think, among the Indians. 
Okay, so Hikaru Nakamura has scored 9 and a half bar level and is probably going to win even this title Tuesday. Soja Bhai, got it, thank you very much. Albert Einstein, thank you Watsal. I think, yeah, that's about it. Where is my goal? Yeah, it's here. Any games going on? Yeah, so there's this game that's going on. Knight Bishop meet. Knight G7 cannot be taken because it's going to be a stalemate. Wow. Knight F8 can be taken, of course. Why? How did this game end in a draw? Knight takes F8 is happening, right? Oh, maybe they play 50 moves without the capture. Oh, wow. <laughs> so they played 50 moves without the capture, and this last move, and the player playing black decided to like say, Are, le jao bishop. Lekin bishop ko nahi kha sakte. could not capture it. Okay, so with that, we come to an end of this second title Tuesday of the month. So let's look at the standings. So among the Indians, who has got the highest points? Um, Harsha Bharat Koti, 7 bar 11. Okay. Alright, so I'll be back again with another title Tuesday. Mita, yes, you are right. Hikaru would be making fifteen to twenty thousand dollars from from title Tuesday only. Yeah, yeah, that's there. He's a strong player. Music is um, by Harris Heller. It's called Samurai's Call. It's by Harris Heller. All right. <laughs> no, Watson, I don't think so. <laughs> because Hikaru wins a lot of other events as well, competes in a lot of events. He also does well in Arena Kings. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's one of the best streamers, best chess streamers in the world right now. No doubt about it. All right, it's time for me to say Tata, thank you, bye bye, and good night. Uh, do watch the broadcast tomorrow of the FIDE World Cup on chess.com slash TV. We will see Gukesh play the tie breaks against uh, Teklav Pavel. And after that, on 15th July, we will see a lot of Indian players in action again on chess.com slash TV. And uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you very much and uh, good night.